the gas laws. See, these are the laws which has been actually uh, given after doing number of experimentations and observing certain very specific properties which has been actually given a shape of a law. The first one to go is, is the Boyle's law. It was given way back in 1662 by Robert Boyle who observed that the volume of a given amount of a gas at constant temperature is inversely proportional to its pressure. It means what? This V is 1 by P at constant T. So, if we have a high pressure, the volume will be low or if we have a low pressure, the volume of the gas will be high. The only thing is this that during these experimentations or the observations, we have to keep temperature constant. That was the most important and simplified observation he has made with doing after doing number of experimentations and on the basis of this, he concluded that, that yes, we can write V is equal to K 1 by P or we can write P is equal to K by V, that where K is a constant. Now, if a gas, gas state is changed from 1 to 2, where the pressure is P1, volume is V1, pressure is P2, volume is V2, we can easily make out this P1, V1 will be equal to K, this P2, V2 will be equal to K. So, we can easily write a very simplified relationship, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Now, since in all these observations, we kept the temperature constant, these observations are called isotherm. Isotherm and the graphs plotted are called isotherm. Iso means constant, therm means temperature. Now, what we can observe is very in a very simple way that when pressure and volume are plotted like this, we will be getting line like this. Yes, this these lines will be like this and this. So, this is T1, this is at T2, this is at T3 and what we find is T3 is greater than T2 is greater than T1. Another interesting thing is if we, if we take, since we know P and V are constant and we plot it along with this, what we find any one, any one of these, what we find is it does not change us with any one of these because this is constant. Yes, we can use this relationship also, we can plot P by 1 by V, we can use it like this, we will be getting what a straight line like this at a particular temperature because we know that P and V inverse of this are directly proportional, so it will be a straight line. So, all these graphs suggest us that the pressure and volume are inversely related to each other at a constant temperature. So, this was a very useful observation which has been actually has, is, has been giving us a lot of information regarding the nature of the gases and how they behave at a very high pressure or at a very low pressure.